Welcome Smackers. Today we're going to do a quick video on the settings for creative mode and how everything works. First, before we get started, let me show you. Before you get into creative, you want to make sure that this is set to private if you want to be only by yourself. If you want to allow other people to join, you can go ahead and click on this and change it to public. Keep in mind when you do that, if you have allow friends of friends invited when you go on public, their friends will be inviting friends and it will get pretty chaotic. It's a lot harder to manage. So if you're going in to build a place just by yourself, you want to go ahead and choose private, keep this unchecked and hit apply. Then let's go ahead and hit play. At this point, you want to start a server. Go ahead and click start a server and launch. Once in, you'll find some featured games here. So here you have Rifty Race by Musix and Toasted Shoes. Here you have Lachlan's Hide and Seek Map. Here you have Bajan and Yo Boy Wildcats Rift. So there are custom games available, so you can go ahead and check that out. If you want to go to your island, it'll be up here with your name. Go ahead and hit F to activate. Choose which island you want. We're going to go ahead and choose four. It's going to load. And then we're just going to jump into it. Here we go. This is a brand new island, so I can go ahead and show you the settings. So real quick, as you probably know, you can go ahead and hit escape on the keyboard. This is for the computer and choose my island. Here you'll get some settings to change. And this is what we're going to go over today are these settings. Basically, you have three different options. You have the game, which is kind of like a mini game, if you will. Um, this is when you have your friends in and you're ready to start a game. You can go ahead and choose these settings. And you have the game settings, which is how everyone will be. Like if you start with full shields or no shields, we'll go over those as well. And any of the island tools on who can go ahead and change things. So let's go ahead and just get started. We're going to explain the mini game mode settings first here. Basically, you have different options. You could choose free to play or elimination. Basically, if you get so many eliminations, someone wins or free to play, you just play how you want. Then you have teams, you could do free for all, which is pretty much everyone for themselves. Uh, cooperative, where you're all working together. Or you could set the amount of teams, which it will split up as evenly as it can. So here, if we had six people in here, we'd have three, that, so we'd have three teams of two. You could choose a time limit, five, 10, 15, 20, and none, all the way up. If you wanna just end it yourself, you could choose none. And then you could choose spawn location, you could choose sky, and then you'd be set there. So once you have this set, you could go ahead and choose start game. It will take a moment to load up. It's not going to take long for me because my island is pretty much empty. So everyone would spawn in and you would have your items here. Then you go ahead and play and have fun. And to be honest, this part can be a lot of fun as long as you have the settings set correctly, which I'll go over the rest. When you're done, either the time limit's gonna expire. If you have it on for no time limit, it's gonna give you almost four hours. If you wanna end, you just hit escape and you can go ahead and go into my island and then choose end game. Keep in mind, I don't know if this feature is in yet, but I believe it is. You can hit escape and you can go ahead and add people and kick people. Also, someone friend sends you, say you have it to public and you don't have your friends of friends, there if someone sends you a friend request you can go into your list here choose friends and click on it and choose accept so then they are on your list and they can join your game in the middle of it so you don't have to back back out to the main screen so let's go ahead and end here and we'll go back to the rest of the settings it'll give you a quick game stat screen and then it'll reload for us now that we're back at the main screen let's go ahead and go back to my island we're going to go ahead and choose game settings. Here are the options you can start with in a game. You could choose full health, invincible, one health, half health, or full health. Again, um, shields, you could choose empty, half, or full. I like going with full shields just because, yeah, I like it that way. Infinite ammo, I think this should always be on unless you're going to play more of a Fortnite type game where you're going to make spawn locations for ammo boxes so people can pick up ammo. 
infinite resources I also like on because unless you're laying a lot of trees down, there's not going to be as enough to keep going if it's a longer game. Pickaxe building damage. You can turn this off if you want. Instant. I'm sorry, you could keep it default or you could turn it to instant. Um, so that basically you swing once with your pickaxe and it instantly breaks whatever it's swinging at. We're going to keep that default. Drop items when eliminated. I like to choose off for this because I feel like it's frustrating. But if you want to play more like a Fortnite game, I guess you would turn this on. Completely up to you. All of these are up to you. Fall damage. Um, I like to keep them on for build battles. But it's up to you what you'd like to do there. Gravity I keep normal. You keep it as low, very low, or back to normal. Your choice. Players' names and locations. Team only always show so this is an always hide this is if you want to be able to see people in your team it'll show the little triangles on the map if you go ahead and have it selected for always show it's going to be everyone not just your team and then always hide it means it's going to hide for everybody and then team only is just your team respawn height you can do normal high off low i put it as normal I really tried low, I wanted it off on low, but unfortunately if you do that and you get too close to the side of the map, you fall off the map and you may die like three or four times in a row until you can get close enough to the edge to land on the land. Down but not out, I leave that on default. You can leave it on, off if you wanna be doing that. I just leave it as normal. Building damage in game, this is something that's been added recently. So if you want to be able to have people be able to do damage to your buildings while in the game, you can go ahead and keep this on. If you do not want them to, you can turn it off. Block building in game, you can go ahead and turn this on if you'd like. I noticed like this is capital and this is not. That's just a little thing. Same here. It's <laughs> just a little thing, Epic. Sorry, nitpicking. Uh, block building in game is on, so that means no one can build. If we go ahead and choose this to off, then they'll be able to build. So this is something that's been recently added. And there was a lot of problems when it first was released, but this is now fixed with this. So I usually let people build. That's not a problem. And then the last set of instructions are the island tools. Here you can go ahead and reset your island back to the state or you can publish your island now. Here you have instant edit permissions, yourself or everyone, that's it. So that's why private's very important because you can keep it in private, invite your good friends, and then you just can play and have fun and build together. But if you want one of the people not to build, you're gonna have to switch it to only you. Big thing if you have this on everyone, be careful when you invite people into your game before you start it. Because before you start it, there may be possibilities they can damage items and then you start the game and then it doesn't take. That is your settings. If you wanted to restore them, there's a button here to go ahead and restore them and then you're good to go. We're going to go over more settings in another video, but I wanted to keep this nice and short just to the island settings so people can make sure other people don't come in and harass you because it's tough when you're trying to build something and someone spawns a thousand trees around you. Happened to me. Or you're trying to do something and all of a sudden the items underneath you disappear and you fall. Or someone grabs a minigun, they spawn it in, and then they just keep shooting you. And yes, the minigun in this mode with infinite ammo is OP. So guys, that's a quick tutorial. I hope it helped. What do you think of creative mode so far? Have you been using it? I think it has a lot of potential and I'm very excited. I'm going to also have some creative maps coming up. So make sure you stay tuned. I did want to let everyone know that published island command is actually new and it is for creators. So I have been selected to be able to publish my island. So I will go ahead and have one soon. The first one that I think I'm going to be doing is an airstrip. So it's going to be dogfights. So if you do use my creator code kevinsmack.tv, you will see it show up in your lobby at times. So if you are supporting me, I really appreciate it. And because of that, you'll get to go ahead and try out my island. I hope you do enjoy it. The idea is to have a set of airplanes on both sides, have two teams, and basically you want to destroy each other's airstrip with their planes and be the last one in the air. So that's the idea for it. I hope it comes out good, and I will see you in the next one.